Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. Um, I wanted to show you all the things that I found the past couple weeks as far as crafty garage sale things go. So I'm going to jump right in. And at a sale this weekend I found this little box of Christmas themed wine glass charms. I always pick these up when I can because you can either use them as is or you can take them apart and repurpose them. Pretty snowflake. That's, I think that's Santa's face. But you guys get the idea. Bells. What's that? Snowman. So I've got all those. Then at that same sale, I picked up a box of microscope slides, which is almost completely full. I think there might be like three or four missing. I don't even know how many are supposed to be in here. Oh. 20? No. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't say. There's a lot of them. <laughs> um, and then at a rummage sale that I went to, I didn't really pay anything for this stuff because they kind of threw it in with the other things that I bought. I got some foam tape and two packs of washi paper. Both have been opened. Like this one said it was $6.95. This one said it was $4.95. And these are nice because these are great for collage and mixed media because they're thinner. Or origami if anybody does that, but I don't. I don't have the patience to fold paper like that. It would drive me crazy. My mom can do it. I'm not good at it at all. Um, let's see. At another sale I went to, this was in the free box at the end of the driveway. This is a whole book with vintage posters and like magazine covers featuring the American flag. So if I ever need to do a um, patriotic project, I can either copy these or cut it up. I don't think I want to cut this book up though. It's pretty nice. But great for Memorial Day, Veterans Day, Fourth of July, all that stuff. I love the, the comic book and cartoon ones. There is... Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I know there's Pluto and Donald. And then there's a really cute, this really cute Porky Pig one. That's adorable. And this one with the, the little kids. And I like this one with all the gears. So, like I said, got that for free. And at that same garage sale, I picked up this old cigar box for two bucks. I liked it because it was a tall one that opened from the top. It's got nice graphics inside the lid here. And also, as a bonus, this was in there. This is a Hartford sewing machine, oh, just a little advertising card or something like that. Then they also threw in for free this whole bag of buttons. There are, there are all of these, which are brand new in the package, and then there's another open pack of those down at the bottom. There's some flower-shaped ones, and a whole bunch of carded buttons. I think I like these pearlized pink ones the best. Whoops. And I even got a roll of red line tape in there. And the last thing I got at that sale was a Bananagram game. I think this is one or two dollars. This has lots of tiles in it. I may keep these for myself or I may sell them with some of my Scrabble tile sets. I'm not sure yet. But, um, I never pass those up when I find them. Then I went to another rummage sale and I did have a whole dozen of these. I got them for a dollar. This is called Nature Silk Spring Roll. And it's kind of like a thin mulberry paper. I love the texture on it. 
you get a whole roll of this. I don't know exactly how long it is. I don't know if it says, oh, I don't even see that. 3.3 yards on each roll. But I shared this with some of my friends because I was hosting a swap, so I sent everybody a roll of this. But this would be great in, um, you know, mixed media and collage because it's kind of thin. And at that same sale, I also got this box of Liquitex uh, Artist Grade Acrylic Paint. I think it's missing, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's missing two tubes. But that's okay. For $2, that's still a bargain. Another sale I went to, I picked up this bag for 50 cents. It had a 10 count of glitter glue and fabric paint. Four of these bottles in here are stickles. There's Christmas red, black diamond, gold, and green. And then some of the more generic kinds of glitter glue and then some paint. And I also got this pack of envelopes for 25 cents. I think there's about 20 in here. But I really like these because I like the kind of mottled pink and cream color. And I love this torn edge on the flaps. So I might save these. My friend is pregnant. Unfortunately, they're not finding out what they're having. So if I make her any cards or minis or anything, I um, might have to wait until after. Um, keeping my fingers crossed that she has a girl because then I can use these. But whatever she has is fine as long as the baby's healthy. And got this garland at another rummage sale. There's a lot of it in here. 25 cents for all this snowflake garland. It's really lightweight, so it's nice to cut apart and use as embellishments on projects. And last but not least are these really pretty old frames that I got. These were $2 a piece, but I got a really good deal on a Christmas present for my son. So I gave her the $2 a piece for these. But I really like them. They're not really heavy, and they're completely flat on the back so it's easy to glue them on to whatever you're working on. Then the other thing I wanted to show you guys, and this has nothing to do with garage sale stuff, is um, these molds. I was watching, I was watching, ugh, trying to talk, watching my friend V use some of these molds with um, paper clay. So I had to pick some up at Michael's yesterday. They were having a 40% off your entire regular price purchase yesterday from four to closing. So I went in and picked up all these molds. These three are from Mod Podge. This is the package they come in. And I got the ornamental, which is these, the nature, and the floral. I think these were $7.99 a piece. And then I also got this one. This is from Wilton. This is in the cake decorating aisle. They've got maybe nine or ten different uh, molds for, you know, you're supposed to use them with fondant, but I didn't. I tried to use these first with some Crayola Model Magic that I had laying around, and it worked pretty good, but I don't know if my Model Magic is old, but it was sticking a little, so I used these candle molds here and made a couple little candles and a candle flame and then I can color these later. They're very lightweight but I think I want to try some paper clay and see if that works a little better in these. Or I might just put some cornstarch in these molds, brush some cornstarch in there and see if the model magic pops out a little bit easier. It was only getting stuck in like little tiny places here and there. But the other stuff that I played with this morning is from, whoops, I dropped one on the floor. It's called Mod Podge's Mod Melts. This is milk glass white. It also comes in clear. This was the last pack of white that they had. But you get 16 of these really long sticks. They fit in a mini glue gun and you have to have a high temp glue gun or it's not gonna work. 
but I played with those this morning. I haven't had time to color any of them, but I'm going to put the link down below so that you guys can see um, one of the videos from CHA where they show all of these colored up with all different kinds of mediums. But they came out really, really nice. I had to practice a little bit because my first attempt did not turn out very well, which is this guy, this owl. Poor thing looks like he's been in a horrible accident. So <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with him. But I think the issue with this was I didn't wait long enough for my glue gun to heat up. But the rest of them came out really nice. I made this cupcake. I've got another cupcake around here somewhere. And I made the smaller cupcake. I've got the pinwheel and the three little banners. Whoops, that was upside down. I did make all the candles and three of the flames to go with them. And these are the flowers. Some of the flowers. That's how the flowers turned out. You do have to trim around the edge a little bit, but not too much. And you might even try using, you know, a file to get into those little tiny spots. These are some of the borders. And they're they're really lightweight too. They're not heavy at all. Got some butterflies. I did a few of those. I think this was my first attempt, which I still have to clean up around the edges. This is my second attempt. It got a little better as I went on. These are some of the frames and other things from the, the ornamental one. This one, this one's really pretty. And these like little cameo type frames. These are really detailed. Oh, some more flowers. Then this is, oh, these are leaves, which you probably can't see, but there are little veins in them. The little bow, that's from the birthday set. The birds didn't come out really great because their beaks are so tiny. I have to practice a little more with them, but they look beakless, the poor things. <laughs> but this little bird's nest came out really nice. Then there's a star. My second attempt at an owl who looks much, much healthier. And I think that's it. Yeah, just the little um, flames to the candles. That was it. But all of these, including my poor owl who got in an accident, um, I used about six of these long sticks for. And it, they don't really take any time to dry. It says let, it, th let them dry for about 10 minutes. I don't even think you need to let them dry that much, maybe five. But I just want to share this with you guys. Um, for those of you who um, may not have a melting pot and you know don't want to do the whole UT thing, this is another option for you. They're really lightweight. You can color them up any way you want. So hopefully I'll be able to color these and maybe I can come back and show you guys how they look. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll talk to you soon.